you've done so much in the industry. You've been in the industry for a long time. So for all the right. people that don't know who you are, because you know, you're kind of behind the scenes. Yeah. Cause you're like creative director mm -hmm. of music videos. Right. You choreograph, you know, celebrities. So just tell everybody kind of like how your journey started in dance. Well, it's kind of funny because um, originally I was not a dancer. I didn't want to dance. I want to have nothing to do with dance. I was more so um, into acting and singing, and I was in a choir. And um, I actually joined a dance studio that had a voice, like a vocal lessons class mm. so um name of these on um, the studios he sold us in queens so i was there i was singing and um they kept trying to get me to dance and i was like nah i'm not trying to dance no 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 dance no dance then finally i seen them do this one dance this michael jackson dance jam mm. and it was all girls and they just did it and it was just like michael like boys and they just did this dance and it was just like i said yo i want to dance <laughs> How did you get the role as as a um, young Jay Z? How'd you get that? Oh man, I had to be like seven or eight years old, and um. And how about I knew that video and everything? And when I met you, I didn't put two and two together until I was, so I, young. I was like, seven, eight. that was him in the video. Yeah, crazy. Well, my mother used to be the manager of um, Spinderella from Salt and Pepper, yeah. a beauty salon. Um, she things in Queens. Okay. Uh -huh. So like a lot of like celebrities and like. Things used to come into the beauty salon, and right. one of the things that came in was a casting for Jay Z's video. Mm -hmm. I was so young, I didn't know who Jay Z was, <laughs> but um, one of the guys, he was a nail technician at the shop. He wanted to go for the casting as like one of the roles, but mm -hmm. they knew, but they were looking for a young Jay Z too. So it was like, yo, let me take David. So I was like, all right, and right. I went, and immediately I didn't have to really audition. It was like he looks like little Jay Z. <laughs> That's him. We want him. He's him. And then he's like, he came with you. Y'all both got the job. And from there, I had the job. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it's so funny. Like he, he fit the role. Yeah. Like he looked like young Jay Z. Yeah. That was crazy. It was crazy. I used to watch Made. Did Did you watch Made growing up? <laughs> you know, I watched. He already Maid. knows where I'm going with this. <laughs> but like, I was in my dorm room watching that the show you were on that oh, wow. at the time not realizing that it was you, it, no. you, that yeah, was you. Yeah, yeah. but i'm like w like you are no joke when it comes <laughs> to like he's just like a military like it's military well i guess it depends on your I mindset know. too it depends on your mindset because he <laughs> wants to kind of like get get your whole like you you have to live it and breathe it yes. and i think that's what he's looking for yes. And when you're not giving your all, that's when he's just like, look, a beast. A right? beast. And yeah. you were beasting. Now, you know what it is? <laughs> I feel like I play off of people's personalities. So in order, I'm not the type that's going to be militant and beast you to do what I want you to do. Right. What I'm going to do is learn you and figure out how you work mm -hmm. and find my ways to make you do what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm not really that too big. I mean, if you, if I tell you to do push-ups yeah. and you argue about push-ups, I'm going to be like, come on, like you, you want to be a dancer, you can't right. do push-ups. Right. So lift up a girl. If you can't lift up the girl, you need to do push-ups. Yeah. At the end of the day. So, I mean, I don't feel like I was too militant and mean. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I was definitely with strict on you because strict. you were kids. They yeah. Were kids. And you, you know how strict. kids, they sometimes want to do it and sometimes don't. Right. It's like, if you're going right. to do it, be Just committed it. and let's do it. Mm -hmm. But in case you ain't know, now you know where to go. Go. Charms on my arm like my pop got the blow. I lean on the mic like a smooth cream and low on the cover of bone. You dope. What you wow. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> how do you even prepare for right. like getting in, something like that together? Music. Like, it's like, it's just like music. When you love music. And the arrangement of music, verses, mm -hmm. and chorus, and the bridge, and it's just like it's music. It's just creating music, but through movement. Right. Does it take you a while, like when you hear a song, to kind of gauge where you, what direction you want to go in, like, or can you figure it out in a day? Like, all right, this is what I want it to look like. Now nah, I can figure it out in a day. I figured out like as soon as I listen to something because it's like music is supposed to tell a story. Right. So as soon as you listen to the song, you should be able to come up with some type of concept because the song is telling you a concept. Yeah. So now it's just figuring out what's your concept going to bring to bring the music to life. Right. right. So now wow. you've been posting on Instagram as well with um, hand movement choreography. Mm -hmm. What is that? Or what so that's the new wave. That? <laughs> I call that the new wave. Because like, all right. So I feel like a lot of artists, if they can't dance, they just kind of sit there mm -hmm. or they try to do like hand motions like that. Like, And I be feeling yeah. like I like the hand motions they do, but it's like <laughs> if it was choreographed, 
or if like you know what I mean if they were more in a oh, sequence so yeah if it was more planned it okay. would be so dope yeah okay. so that was my way of showing like through rap because yeah. it was perfect timing because you know Remy and Nicki was beefing yes. mm -hmm. so it was yes. like they talking they shit so let me right. do my shit to you know what I mean because yeah. Nicki does that anyway Remy does that too but yeah. it's just not choreographed but if it was choreographed yeah. it would be it would take the artistry to a whole nother level. Right. right. That's an interesting way to that put is. it. That is. That's dope. Sincere, I could so see you if that show was still on, one of the judges on America's Best Dance Crew. I could oh. so see you as I could see me too. <laughs> I mean, but I but the little mama's up there. So that's little like mama's up there, yeah. but it would be perfect. That's my birthday twin. We got the oh, same birthday. birthday that, like, that's my girl. So her being up there is just like me being up there. Right. You know what I mean? So it's the same thing. But um, yeah, like I could definitely do one of those judging shows. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. So who are you working with right now? Right now, as in choreographing or creative directing. Well, that's one thing too. The way I build relationships, like when I start working with an artist, it's kind of like I get stuck with them. You know what I mean? Because we mm -hmm. just become so cool mm -hmm. and we have so many visions for like the future and so many things. Right. So I still work with Little Mama, um, Young B, IOJ, um, Wayne Brady. Every now and then, like mm -hmm. I still work with the same people, like okay. MC Light. I choreographed right. her video, so like. Yeah, it's like it's still it's the relationship that's built, and mm -hmm. as they're growing as artists, I'm growing as a choreographer. Yeah. So we just meeting, we meeting every time mm -hmm. when they drop something, I'm still out dropping stuff. So I'm like, let's do it. You know right. what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah.